So this is like for text generation. Uh, and then I can show you something else if you want. <laughs> but it, do you have any question for, for this one so far? No questions yet. <laughs> okay, let's look at the second one. I don't know if you followed also, uh, uh, Facebook released um, uh, Lama 3.2 Vision, which is a vision model, so you can take images uh, and interpret them and tell us what, what is happening in the image. Uh, I think it's like uh, Azure Computer Vision. But uh, now we can do it locally without having to pay to Azure any fee. So we have this uh, template here called Lama 3.2 Vision, and it's using the 11B uh, model, 11 billion model. I just need to launch it. So first I'm going to stop I'm going to stop the Olama server and I'm going to launch the clean UI interface so I have to cd clean UI sorry and then there is there is a very good tutorial I will share it in the description and in videos uh, where we so this is a tutorial for clean UI it's a UI interface to use uh, Lama 3.2 11 billion vision. And then once you follow all these uh, steps, which are very clear, then you come here and you can launch, uh, you can activate the local environment, which I'm going to do right now. So I control V this, and then I launch the application with this. Now it's going to launch the uh, user interface of that um, AI vision model interface. Okay, it's loading it. Uh, do you do a lot of e-commerce? I think Jackie, no, and and search engine optimization. Yes. Okay, so one of the weaknesses that I remember in e-commerce because we're so lazy is that we don't do the alt tag description for our images, and sometimes we get penalized. So I did a, a small automation, and you see, once you launch the uh, the clean UI, you get also the this URL, which we are loading in this template. So in this template here, now that it's launched, I start with this URL, which is the local clean UI, and now I have my Artila flow, where we have this RPA command. I don't know if you used it, but we can we can specify a folder, and then it will get the files the file path of all the files that are in that folder. So in this particular case, I have this folder called images-download, and Artila is going to go and get all the file path and feed them into my loop. So that's what get files path does. And then get file path, I will feed it into my list command. So it will, create, it will fill up here all the file path. And then again, like I did before, now we have a loop. So the loop will take the image, will upload it right here, and then uh, will input the prompt here, and then will wait three seconds, and then will click on the generate button. Very simple flow. And now I'm going to show you how it does the job. And now I'll launch it. I think we have six images. So it loaded the first uh, koala image. And here it's already processing it. It takes about 14 to 15 seconds per image. So I calculated we can do three images per minute. Uh, so that's like uh, 3,600 images per 24 hours if we are to run it 24 hours. So we got the description. Now we go to the second image. Here, I think we need to see uh, Honoré. Sometimes this interface, uh, we just need to load the image. Some formats, they don't load properly, but they are sent to the AI. Jackie, my screen is still appearing? Yeah, ah, okay. I'm so, looking. Yes. So you see the good thing here with Artila is that, I mean, with web browser automation, is that we can interact with this AI model even if there is no API. We can just interact from, from the user interface. So I'm going to let it do uh, the last images. So just to finish, or like yeah. make building faster, do you think the pointer that I showed you for the CSS capturing yes. works? 
the copy okay perfect because i was not sure and i did it manually last time i was like this is annoying no i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you uh how it works and also the recorder but also the limitations that we have at the moment and mm. how we how we think we're gonna address them to get your feedback i think this is the last image or the before last image i don't know if you have some use cases for this uh, there, there can be different I things. Do. In the pack industry, there's a company that makes uh, memes out oh. of you. Yeah, they generate memes manually right now using AI. But this is exactly what I need to automate for them. Which oh, is excellent. Funny. Excellent. And we also have, uh, we can do another automation that uses uh, stable diffusion to create images out of prompt. So this one does image to text, but we can also do text to image for free and locally. Okay, I think this is also the one oh. before last. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> uh, I put a lot of images. And this is probably the last one. Yeah. And then if I go to the results now, and if I let it uh, run overnight, I will have for all my images, the file path and the file name, and then the description that I got. And either I can do another flow inside the flow to, to push this into the image description on a WordPress or Shopify website, or uh, we can use this CSV Excel and then import it whichever way uh, is good. Any question, Jackie or Jan, in terms of use cases or, or things that we could improve? I'm just blown away, that's all. <laughs>